Bridge for many years to come and just keep banging them goals in. Simple as that. <laughs> Perfect. Top man, wish Thank you luck. Thank you. You know, hopefully, not hopefully, um, I could do that in person um, at the bridge for many years to come and just keep banging them goals in. Simple as that. <laughs> Perfect. Top man. Hey guys, it's Oogs, your brother from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. One click, one sub, one like, and you are all set. Thank you so much for helping the channel. You guys are absolutely legend. It's another London Derby, people. This coming Sunday, it's going to be at Stamford Bridge. It's the bragging right. Who's going to be the king of London? Chelsea been there in that position for years. But this season, it looks like uh, Tottenham Hotspurs are trying very hard. But sit down, kid. Sit down and learn, okay? <laughs> so at the bridge, it's going to be buzzing on Sunday. The first game of the new season at Stamford Bridge with our new boys. Raheem Sterling, Khalidu Koulibaly. Everything is in place, my friends. I think this game is going to be difficult for us, but not what people are talking about right now because we are Chelsea Football Club. All right, people. So, as you can tell, <laughs> Chelsea against Tottenham Hotspurs at the bridge. Let's check on some statistics, right? What happened in the last uh, five games? Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspurs 0. Tottenham Hotspurs 0, Chelsea 3. Spurs 0, Chelsea 1. Chelsea 0, Spurs 0. Chelsea 2, Spurs 1. So you see in the last five games, we beat them four and we drew one at home at the bridge. So, uh, you know, whoever the, the manager is, it seems like it's repeating itself. It's Spursy and that's what we do. We beat Tottenham Hotspurs. For us... Look at that, okay? The last game, Chelsea against uh, against Everton away. We won 1-0. And Tottenham Hotspurs won at home, actually, 4-1. Uh, so it's scary, really, on paper to see uh, what uh, Tottenham Hotspurs been doing for a while now. They are building a very, very strong team. I'm not going to lie, okay? I'm not going to lie. But I'm not going to put my team down either because we are Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspurs can still do the Spursy. The last game, we didn't good, do that good. But we got three points. That is the most important in a game of football. You beat your opponent, you get three points and you move. You're still building slowly and surely. So I am very sure not very sure, but I'm confident that Chelsea, the pride is going to kick on and we're going to show them that we are champions uh, of the world. Yeah, we're still champions of the world and uh, people need to, to respect us. You know what I mean? I'm very confident about it. You guys let me know in the comments section down below. What do you think about this game? Tottenham against uh, Southampton 4-1. Look at them. Awesome. They got Sun. They got Kulusiski. They got Harry Kane. They got uh, Richarlison. Respect. I respect them for that. But I'm not afraid because we are Chelsea Football Club. You know what I mean? So anything can happen, my friends. Chelsea might surprise many, many people. Don't write us off yet we are coming for you all the respect for antonio conte and what he's been doing over there but listen we have thomas tuko it's gonna be a very good game of football
All right, people. My starting 11 and predi- predictions. Edouard Mendy in goal, of course. Koulibaly, uh, Thiago Silva, and Aspilicueta back three. Listen, I'm not going to even attempt to put other formations here and other lineups because we know what Thomas Tuchel is going to do. We ha- I'm going to play Chile here. Rhys James, um, Kova, Kante. Front three, I will go for Raheem Sterling, of course. And then uh, Kai Havert from the middle. And Manson Mount, whatever position the, the boss is going to decide here. So, the first question I'm going to get is, where is Kukurela? I'm going to get in trouble here. Listen, Kukurela need to stay on the bench and wait. Remember last time, Kulibali actually had some cramps. So Kukureya can play in the back three. Okay. At some point, take um, probably Kulibali out and put Kukureya. But the, it, it's, not, uh, it's not a big deal here. He's a shiny toy, new toy. Everybody want to use him. But do not underestimate the work, the defensive work and offensive work from Ben Shewer. For For me, it's a good thing. Okay. Whoever is going to start is going to do the job for Chelsea Football Club. Very good competition for places here. And I'm, I'll be happy instead of fighting who's going to start and who's not. Rhys James, of course, nothing to say. Ngolo Kante, if we can tell him to just break the play, okay? Do what he can do here in the middle instead of using him every single place here uh, and try to ask him to save the world. No. Keep him as a defensive midfielder so he can cope with the pressure from Tottenham Hotspur. Kovacic can beat the pressure. He doesn't create a lot. But somebody else is going to create somehow. <laughs> Maybe a long pass from Kulibali or something. But can't he? We have to stop misusing him. Give him one role, one position so he can do better and uh, save some energy and avoid injuries. Kovacic, we know we're going to be under a lot of pressure. So Kovacic is the king of beating pressure, even though the final third, the end product is not there. But we have nobody else. No Frankie de Jong by the time I am recording this video. Probably he's going to be announced, you know, by the time this video goes out. So, I don't know. Kai Havert, I'm going to trust him one more time. Uh, he's not clinical, just like anybody else in the team. But play him from the middle. I don't want to see the change of using Raheem Sterling from the midfield, uh, from the middle, and then... Kai Havert from the side. It doesn't make any sense. It's just simple f- common sense and just play people. It's not their position. The system is not even the, the system that you're going to get the best out of them. And on top of that, you keep twisting and changing positions. It makes it even worse. So Kai in the middle, Manson Mount, I don't know even what position. But we still have a strong bench that can help us if needed. And Jorginho people are going to tell you, you don't win a game of football without Jorginho. But listen, this is a very physical game. A very, uh, a very, very tough one. You have, you need speed. You need to tackle. We don't need to protect anybody here. We need somebody who can actually protect some people instead of him being protected so he can slow the game down. If we are winning... 2-0, 3-0, 2-0, 3-0, second half. He can have some playing time, in my humble opinion. From the bench, we still have Gallagher. We still have Pulisic and, and Kai and Kai Havet. Pulisic and Ziyech, who can help. If they have a good attitude, of course, because they want to leave the club. So, I don't know, man. We don't have a strong bench. Malangsa just left. Kalim Hasunadoi is not even training. Uh, Ruben also can come on and help a little bit. So we, we still don't know what our best 11 is. And 
and how we're gonna set up so i'm gonna leave it there three one chelsea football club yes call me crazy we don't score we don't know who is gonna score we're gonna miss one-on-one -on -one or even empty goal but i have that feeling that this game is gonna be actually very very easy for us and nobody is gonna believe it you know Everybody is hyping Tottenham Hotspurs now, how awesome they are. But there are certain games that, you know, the badge, the spirit, the fight is going to win you the game. So we need a lot of energy. We need a lot of heart. Go, you blues. Please don't let me down. So, people, get in the comment section. Let me know what do you think. What is your starting 11, your formation? and your score prediction who is going to score Raheem Sterling to score his first goal at the bridge yes because he's here to bang some goals the second goal is going to come from Ben Shiwa and the third goal is going to come from let's say Kai Havert to give him some more confidence here all right and uh, <laughs> the goal from Spurs is going to come from somebody. I don't know. Harry Kane or Son. I don't care. 3-1 Chelsea Football Club. Let's keep the conversation going.